Yo, what up, guys? We're going to be... Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be in Tampa, Tampa, Florida, at Side Splitters. Come out to that show. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Let's get some drinks. We'll get fucked up. Thursday, Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. And then, oh, I'm sorry, Wednesday, Wednesday Raleigh. Good nights in Raleigh. Come see us there. We'll also get fucked up. Yeah, come out to Raleigh. And then Friday or uh, Sunday, the 28th, we're going to be at Helium in Philadelphia, our home club, I hope you fucking show up. Yeah, yeah. Please turn out for that. It's gonna get weird. That's gonna be yeah. Enjoy the show. He came in. He jo- we were in the fucking dealership for like it's four hours, close to four hours. Are you recording live? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, I like I have every piece of documentation you can imagine. I was like, her her credit might be better. I was making fun of myself, and he's like, I got terrible news for you. It's really great. It's 770, and I was like, let's fucking go. Yeah. I got all my documents for our income. It's solid. The only thing we don't have is his tax, our tax return for 2023, which yeah. a lot of people don't. It's fucking, this is April 15th. Yeah. So I said. It's sent- also like fucking Trump never released his tax return. <laughs> yeah. tax. Jesus Christ. And he got going he wants fucking <laughs> mouth right now. But it's literally Time this year's tax just, return? Like what? the just now tax return? Yeah. Just now? Yeah, yeah. Why would you need that I, for a car? Yeah. Dude, I kept saying the same fucking thing. What does that matter? Here's my bank account. Here's how much money we make Why every month. Why can't you buy it? Are you not doing that well? What? <laughs> Why are you leaving? No, we're doing too well. well yeah. I think we, like, he raised suspicion because I probably smelled like beer. I shit all over my shirt. <laughs> it's like this. Yeah, yeah. I gave my 10 That's the actual it. problem is you just, you always show up with alcohol yeah. in your breath. I yeah. just had a beer in my hand. I'm like, look, all oh, his papers are right there. And he's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Dude, and then he's like, look, we're closing. We'll figure this out tomorrow. I'm hoping this is just, this bank is like, you know, scrambling. What bank are you using that seems so illegitimate? I don't know. It's fucking... You don't know your bank. That's a no, big problem. No, it wasn't my bank. <laughs> okay. It's the, the Jew Tunnel Bank that Audi's using. Oh, that's that's the <laughs> issue. Yeah, the financier. He like, is look, the financier. There's a lot of mattresses under your bank. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't figure out what the fuck is going on. I'm like, all right, let's handle it from afar. So for three hours yesterday, they're going to the bank. They're like, now we need your LLC uh, article of... Incorporation. Incorporation. So you're buying a German car using a Jewish bank. So yeah, we start I think there. So. <laughs> that's the biggest issue. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're tight with the lending. Yeah, they're like, I don't know. They're like, we're not giving this to you, dude. I'm at this this outdoor. I'm thinking I'm getting one. I'm getting one more beer. They and they're going to the call pod. me. They know you're pro Palestine. They call. Yeah, they're completely <laughs> <laughs> wearing the colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did put. They're we asking did put, all sorts of questions. So, what do you think of the other day? You think that was justified? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've one more question and concern. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you stand on Palestine? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, yeah. No Fuck, comment. Yeah. Uh, I'm at this outdoor brewery. I'm like, I'm gonna have a celebratory beer because this call's coming. It's my turn. I'm I'm in line. As opposed to the maybe beers you had before you walked in. <laughs> I had three maybe beers. One, we're definitely gonna get it. And then I'm in line for my let's go pick up a fucking Yeah, to drive a car home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh he calls me, he's like, Look, they're still needing this deck da- this tax document, and I fucking wigged out. I'm like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. I I have enough. D- d- this should not matter. I've proved my identity, my income. What the fuck is a hold up? He's like, we've been trying to get this off the lot for you, and I just, I just hung up. And then, Shane introduced me to this guy, Britt. Okay. Britt is our Texas University hookup for football and baseball. All He's right. the fucking man. I remember him hearing about my car troubles. I don't know if it was on the pod or personal because I tell everybody I fucking see in streets. And you haven't had a car though for since 08, right? 08. I haven't had a car. So okay. this is like I'm drooling like a fucking. You really want this like car? Like a dog? Yeah. 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 I'm like I'm yeah. So then I call, he'd sent me, he's got this guy, Covert. Covert family is like the Kennedys around here. They own like mm-hmm. four or five different dealerships. I made a call to him. Just like the Kennedys. Just like the <laughs> <laughs> You're not familiar with the Kennedy car <laughs> empire? Dave, let me just get my anger out. I, yeah, I, I recall the Kennedys <laughs> loving automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> remember that? He had a nice yeah. convertible yeah. for you. Yeah. You remember? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kennedy, Texas, uh, Lincoln. Yeah, they just watched Lincoln, Mercury. <laughs> you remember those days? <laughs> Still bits of skull in my yeah. alley. <laughs> Have you seen this one? <laughs> You don't need the top. Let me just vacuum that yeah. up first. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, and I keep, I called him. I was like, before my tears were dried, I was like, I need help, man. Yeah. Because if if I can't go to another Audi dealership, they're using the same banks. I got I got I got to pivot. I got to make. And by the time I got home, like fifteen minutes, there's this voicemail like, "Hey, this is for Tommy Pope. This is the you know whatever his name." He's like, I heard you have some troubles. Our friend Britt called you. We are your guys. Call me right back. And then I called him, and he's like, you can come right here right now, and I'll give you a loaner for you to bop around town until you find a car for yourself. I don't That's want you and your girl being held up, not being able to do something. I was like, this, Jesus what? Jesus Christ, awesome. dude. The hospitality was incredible, dude. Yeah. So this now is I'm, the I, whole new Shane than I remember. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I know Shane of three years ago. This is yeah. the, this is the now Shane. Shane yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just yeah. call this dude in Austin and he'll give you a free car, yeah. dude. The, the, the yeah. as opposed to yeah. Shane. No, I don't need five bucks. I'll just go take the subway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Shane has blessed us. Big come Good up. for yeah. him. Honestly, it's amazing. Yeah. So we, got, I'm, I'm already. I'm gonna buy a pre-owned uh, Tacoma for my girl because that so that was the goal eventually after me getting a car. So I'm just gonna get that. First, so we have it's a good there. car. It's a nice truck. Yeah, yeah. it's a big baby. Oh, so dude. what are you riding? I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Now I, I have something for a while. I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do because this are guy's got Cadillacs. He's got Cadillacs. I love Cadillacs. Fords. That, that's my car. GMC Lincoln. Uh, all American baby. All American. Yeah. I yeah. just smashed my Lincoln out front. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I heard you hit no, something. You did it. Did dude, you? It's an older Lincoln. You just lost your well, other Lincoln to a T-bone, uh, didn't you? That was a Cadillac. <laughs> Cadillac. Dude, two weeks ago. <laughs> he's, he's on the phone with me. He goes, all the spots are reserved. I was like, yeah, you can park there. And then I just hear like, <laughs> boom. And he goes, shit. <laughs> you just hit something? What'd you hit? Uh, maybe a guy. I don't know. I, I, a deer, uh, hopefully a deer riding a bike. <laughs> Dude, Dude, do you do Uber Eats? uh, It was one. (laughs) I don't know. I think a Chick Fil A bag. Yeah, Uh, yeah, I, I, I think a curb. Like it was just one of those things where I just I was talking to him, and then I'm like, oh, I think there. I see another way to end, and then I just went over the curb, and I was like, well, as long as that's not important. The picture you sent me yesterday is that the car you got? No, the car I have right now. I'm just. This car I just bought for Texas to kind of drive around in. It's yeah. an 06 Lincoln. Yeah. I found an old lady who obviously died in Houston. Yeah. So my win. <laughs> and it had like 70,000 miles on it, but it looked brand new. So I, I did the whole Google Earth thing. It was sitting in front of a really nice house in Houston. So I just went and paid seven grand for it. But the other car that I had was a 2018 Cadillac ATS I had yeah. bought off a two-year lease, yeah. like the Warren Buffett route. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I loved that car. Yeah. And I had just dropped my son off at school, and it was snowing. And somebody in uh, like a 15-year-old Chrysler Pacifica with bald tires spun <laughs> out. Oh, my God. Slams into the side of me. Ugh. And I tried to like dodge it. And then he just hits the side of where my son would have been sitting, so I'm lucky there. Yeah. But as I'm waiting for the cops, the cop pulls up, and he gets out to talk to me, and another car spins out and slams into the cop car. (laughs) Holy, that's a bad day. Which I have video of. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Because immediately, instead of helping her, I'm just pulling out my phone. Yeah, it's hilarious. And I'm just looking at the cop, and I'm like, do you think you could have assaulted the road with the surplus assault you had here in Detroit? Like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but you could have fixed this at any point. Uh, Totally preventable. But I figured they would fix <laughs> They have it. all the salt and no trucks to put it down. Dude, that's the problem. Like, they have a surplus in Michigan of salt, and they were like, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. I'm like, sure. I'll just drive my son to school. Wait, so it hit your frame, and it's totally... Dude, because it hit the back left tire, they totaled out the car. Oh, my God. Why? Dude, no airbags went out. Dude, it, because... Because it's it, just it, the axles fucked, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The axle and the frame were bent, even though no airbags, no... Dude, I take really good care of my cars. Yeah. I was so... Fucking pissed when they told me. And they're like, we're going to send you a check for $17,000. I'm like, fix the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want a check for 17000 so I can go buy nothing in 2024. <laughs> That's a yeah. lot. I, you know. It, well, it's it's still worth something. That's yeah. why. But you're yeah. not going to get that car for it. Yeah. No, yeah. And like, I, I mean, it's better than if I were to try to sell it. I'll give it that. Like, yeah. I got a good deal wrecking it. Yeah. Which is, I've always learned in the many cars that I've wrecked, you do get a better deal from the insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Even if How you're drunk. many cars have you wrecked? Oh, so many. Um, <laughs> his, his youth stories are fucking yeah. wild. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a, a Cherokee um, a tourist show of Mustang 5.0, uh, Chevy Cavalier, 
That one, they actually they actually came back because I thought I got away with drinking. I would genuinely love to see a crash reel. <laughs> He's just Dude. slowly aging and crashing the same way. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the Cavalier burst into flames, and it wouldn't go into drive, but it did go into reverse, and I drove backwards in it. On fire? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I Why, you fucked up, I imagine? Oh, yeah. And I looked around for the other car, and I was like, oh, fuck. And then there was no other car, and I was like, oh, good. It was just a median. So I drove home. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and then that's I, how you know you're shit-faced. Oh, you drove home in reverse yeah. with your car you on fire. Yeah, yeah. In Detroit? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me there isn't another car around. Dude, that rules. <laughs> the benefits, there's so few cops that I was able to make it. My God. And then when I got home, I was like, I put out the fire. And then I just left it, but the cop <laughs> showed up. Just pulling the hose out from the side of the house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Putting the fire out in your Cavalier. Then and waking I, up the next day like, I forgot about that. I didn't wake up the next day. What happened was they showed up with my bumper, and I was like, well, I started drinking when I got here. Yeah, I, yeah. I was not drinking when, you, when that happened. <laughs> um, yeah, the, what sucked was I the, the funniest one. <laughs> I crashed my my red Cherokee into a white Cherokee that was parked on the street. And I was drinking, but I slid on ice. And I really wasn't that drunk or high. By yeah. all means, I was really... <laughs> your, car into your other car? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't mine, but uh. I, I, I slid and I slammed into it. Yeah. And then I just drove home yeah. to two houses. Yeah. And no one said anything. But what I didn't know was the, the car in the street had a bow on it. And was a oh, Chris, it was a Christmas slash God. birthday present for my neighbor, and I guess the next morning they woke up and opened the door and it was like, "Here's your <laughs> fucked up car, happy birthday." <laughs> and uh, they didn't find out it was you. They did two days later because they tra- I, the a, pain a neighbor, transfer? yeah, they, a neighbor watched yeah, me drive by and noticed the, the white, yeah. yeah, white paint all over the side of my oh car, my and was like, "I think the yeah the matching paint on that guy's yeah Detective Dottie over here yeah <laughs> ruining my fucking week." And I had already dropped the drive shaft on it, and it made this horrible like. <laughs> <laughs> they needed any more proof. Yeah, dude, they, it, it was never fixed. So I would pull up to Taco Bell and stuff, and it would just be like, <laughs> and they'd be like, turn that shit out. What yeah, is that? You yeah. got a beehive yeah. in there? And I have to <laughs> turn it off the order. order. Like, <laughs> Let me get three hard shell, two soda. <laughs> and I had bumps. <laughs> So I mean, hey, dude, you got that sweet thing the after visual. I get done eating. Hey, what's your name, baby? <laughs> crashing, <laughs> crashing into a car, backing up, <laughs> driving up one driveway. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and assuming and you just, get away with it. Yeah. God damn, dude. And yeah, it was the worst. And yeah, the, that car. It was. It was so nice, but it was such garbage after I had you know dropped the drive shaft and hit another car. And when I would drive it, it would hit the tire because I had done damage to it. But I'm like, I'm sure it'll be fine yeah. for a while, even though you could hear it rub. <laughs> but it, it had bumps and an eh noise. So it was like, boo, 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 eh, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> And then after I got caught, I was going on the freeway. So I thought I'd see how fast I could get a Cherokee up to, which is about 105. Yeah. Until you shoot a piston through the engine. No. Yeah. It dude, blew? It blew, shot right through the engine and destroyed the rest of the car. I was also on acid, so when the guy showed up, <laughs> <laughs> me and the two oh other friends God. were just like, just pie-eyed. Yeah. And, and we're like, hey, how are you? Can yeah. you help us? And then we smoked a joint with him, and he got the car back. And There's, there's a lot of guys dude. that I know sobered up, and you're like, why, dude? You were great. You weren't that bad. Mm-hmm. That, seeing, dude. hearing Dave's stories, like, if, I get it, man. You shouldn't <laughs> touch I didn't know, shit. I honestly didn't know pistons can go through cars. Mm-hmm. If I saw that on acid, I would be like, there's no way this is really happening. I didn't. This is like, this is good acid. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I didn't know what had happened, but I, when I popped the trunk, I just knew something wasn't right because it was just <laughs> the trunk, the hood. And I just popped it and I knew, like, it's just smoking. Yeah. And then I also had a three foot bong, or sorry, six foot bong that I kept in my car at the time. So I had this big purple six footer that we had to run and hide out in a field while we waited. So it was just we're, we're just fucked. And then fortunately, <laughs> the guy was a tow truck driver 
So we didn't have to hide any drugs. We just basically paid him in drugs to get the car back to where we needed it to go. And then my, fortunately, my mom showed up and like gave him like an extra fifty bucks because you know I, I called her and I'm white. <laughs> it is. I, I mean, your love for Cadillacs. The pictures you were Seriously. sending me. It is a pimp graveyard. They're Dude. old like pimp Cadillacs, right? I, yeah. The the Cadillac. I can send you the pictures. One yeah. is a Fleetwood. I found like. Because I said, screw it. Like, if I'm going to buy a car, I'm going to find an old Cadillac now because yeah. I'm tired of my... My last Cadillac wasn't my fault. I've, I've earned it, and it was destroyed by somebody T-boning it. Yeah. My one before that was a Cadillac DTS that I loved, and I was pulling out of a, a, a lot, and an old woman in a Lincoln just barreled into the side of it, and I got <laughs> out, and she's like, I'm sorry, please don't call the police. I'll give you money. <laughs> This is the, uh, the Detroit sounds like a hellscape, dude. <laughs> I mean, just, you can't even. Everyone's just barely. In the that's why the car manufacturers <laughs> left. They're like, dude, we can't keep fixing these. Dude, if I bought if I bought someone a car and put a bow, on, first of all, I'd be like, I didn't even think this people really did this. Put yeah. a bow on a car and you thought it's just rich people on yeah, Lexus yeah. commercials. I would be like, this yeah. is the best day of my life that I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> a drunk who lives two doors down <laughs> smashes into it. Oh no! The worst part was it wasn't even a night. It was a set, it was an okay car. Yeah, <laughs> it was for yeah. his daughter. <laughs> That's the best. Yes. It, 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 no people. Did do you say it. that to him when he showed up at your door? Well, like, it dude, was... it's not even that good. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I, this bitch is spoiled already. She's got her own car at 16. I got semi-lucky, but it also tragically, my dad was dying at the time, so he had a halo drilled into his head <laughs> from brain cancer. Oh, nice. And he was also in Vietnam, so he could fight in case something broke out, but yeah. I don't think he could have taken the guy in his current state. So the He's guy like a, showed a up. A 1% built RoboCop? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, just... <laughs> Yeah, but he's still lodged in the thing, so if you hit him, it, it wouldn't help. <laughs> but my dad answers, so the guy shows a piss, and my dad answers the door with a halo drilled into his head, and the guy's like, hey, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, hey yeah. we should talk about your son. <laughs> <laughs> kind of realizing that yeah. there's some stuff going on at home. like, do you want him? Take him. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is a good strategy for, like, an alcoholic, just to always have, like, a sick dog or, yeah. like, a, a wounded oh, yeah. person around. Yeah. Well, you're just like, I'm sorry, my mom just died. Can we discuss this? Yeah. You know, <laughs> the guy immediately wanted to solve it financially. Financially, instead of with fists, he's like, you know, we could just call insurance. Yeah. I can, I see what that happens. is a sick yeah. move, like a fake injury costume. With yeah. Anytime you, you're about to get into an altercation, yeah, oh, it's yeah. Like yeah. just put on one of those things that has like a keeps your arms out. Yeah, put just, a neck brace on. You're like, you got to fucking pop out. <laughs> like, I'm good, dude. No, I'm just fine. having a full like Home Alone setup. Like instead of a party, it's just always a funeral. <laughs> like it's just like <laughs> Michael Jordan, <laughs> <laughs> just a weeping grandma on a train set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going around, up to your house. constantly blowing I'm your nose. The- <laughs> if, it's, if it's real bad, you just have a baby coffin in the back. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it's a black funeral, you just have them, yeah, one, yeah. one lady <laughs> flopping over the, <laughs> over the casket the whole time. Scream ah, my baby! Yeah. <laughs> my baby! That bitch has been hollering for 30 minutes yeah. through there. Uh, somebody's just yelling, they shot my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, a funeral Home Alone set is so fucking funny. It's the way to get out of all trouble. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, dude. What a great sketch. (laughs) Let's write it and make it. (laughs) A funeral Home Alone. (laughs) It's just a kid who lives alone but causes all kinds of crap. (laughs) Yeah, he just gets sympathy pussy because he always says somebody just died. (laughs) Every time the cops show up for the party, he's like, all right, guys, get in your suits. (laughs) Turn the set on. Turn the train on. It's like a Capone house. <laughs> you just switch the card table uh, into a casket. <laughs> yeah, it flips, it flips over. over. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. fucking rules. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was an interesting time. So I felt for you. Yeah. But yeah, immediately I went out. Like you said, I found a, a Fleetwood that was bigger than this room that had rims on it and had the old like these giant rods on it, so you could park the car without bending your rims. Okay. And I'm like, showing, oh, on the outside. Yeah, yeah. And I was showing my wife, and I'm like, "What do you think of that?" And she's like, "Uh, what? What are you <laughs> doing?" And then I found another car. It was a two, sorry, 1997 Eldorado. Yeah. And it said Music Man on the side of it. 
and all leather, <laughs> and then it had <laughs> pussy <laughs> wagon. <laughs> dude, it had, oh, Airbrushed dude, on the women side. Women <laughs> have been beaten to death in this car. <laughs> <laughs> they really are like pimp mobiles. The ones you oh, sent me. Dude, the show, one I showed yeah. you, the hood ornament had tits. Yeah, it's a nice. Roll, he put like a nice. Rolls Royce hood ornament on top of his Cadillac from the 30s. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had like uh, <laughs> it had glass subwoofers in the back. And I sat in and I turned it up. And the subwoofers were far more expensive than the car. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I might buy this. And my wife's just like, What are you doing? Yeah. So I got my son and I'm like, Put on any station you want. He's nine. So he puts on his local station, which is this 1051 rap station, and it's yeah. playing Tupac. And my son's in the car, just like, buy this yes. car. Yes. Yes. Buy <laughs> this car. <laughs> Your poor wife. Rocket money. You know it. You love it. It saves you money. We use it. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. Mm. Burning tons and tons and tons of fucking money on shit that you don't actually use. Also, everyone's raising their rates. Oh, yeah, for like, like, and it's automated. Netflix, you don't know. Apple TV, yeah. they're all like raising yeah. their monthly rates. It's like, you know, it's time to get rid of Disney Plus or whatever you don't watch. Yeah. You're not going to watch Star Wars. It sucks now, so <laughs> get rid of it. Yeah, spend your $10 on Look at this, yeah, not yeah, yeah. gay-ass Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, get, just, yeah, I think you can buy it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, Star you can Wars? just stream it on Amazon or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You only pay once. Don't keep paying Disney for crap you're not going to watch. You know what I mean? Disney's over. Disney's, yeah. We're I, done with Disney. I, I never opened Disney Plus. No. That's another one I think I probably Although still Although the last for. time I did, I watched Alice in Wonderland, and it was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. But that's besides the point. The point is, go to Rocket Money and get rid of all these. They'll even fight people on the phone for you. Yeah, that's the best part. Which is also the best, like, because I've, yeah, I've, I've said this before, but I've subscribed to one of those Tubi or whatever one of those things, and I, I don't know how to cancel it. Yeah. And they so make I, it impossible. I, for I you. called the bank and was like, look, if, if Tubi tries to bill me, just don't pay. They them. won't do that. And they were like, they'll change the name that they're pulling it from, which also feels like that's just someone who's stolen my credit card. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a 7 Eleven clerk. It has a fake little keypad thing you put over top of it. <laughs> steal, steal all your numbers. I saw that video too. Yeah, it's all over the place. Can they steal the tap? And they take all your numbers and info. I don't think they can steal the tap. I don't know. Well, anyway, stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash stuff island. That's rocketmoney.com slash stuff island. Rocketmoney.com slash stuff island. So where do you get this love of, I don't know, these <laughs> pimp machines? Detroit, dude. Detroit. Yeah. True. I just love it's part of the culture. Yeah. Yeah. I just love Cadillacs because yeah. that's it was a sign of opulence. Yeah. And when I when I was in ninety seven, I got hired at fifteen when my dad first got sick by this guy who I may or may not have had other jobs, but I yeah. detailed cars. <laughs> I thought you were about to be like, may or may not have had sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have yeah. been intimate with this man. When you see the car of your dreams, you open your fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That should have been me and Oli. I should have fucking... Should have yeah. My dad just going. died, dude. I was sucking yeah. everyone. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> my dad. Your dad died again? <laughs> I need an excuse to swallow this. It was oh. a rough patch. Yeah, my dad just got sick. I joined the scouts. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you'd be surprised what they'll give you to keep your mouth shut and open. <laughs> I, uh, uh, yeah, he. I detail cars. And I would detail like Fleetwoods, Caddies. Yeah. And I... It was fifteen dollars an hour cash in nineteen ninety seven. That yeah. so I learned yeah. like how to detail cars and I loved them and and that's when I just started falling in love with Cadillacs. Yeah. They were just my favorite. What's the thing. wildest shit you found in a car? Like nails and hair and at drug that time? Bags? Yeah. No, it was pretty classy. It was mostly Italians. Oh, okay. The weirdest shit I found in the back of a car was one guy who was getting his uh, Ford. <laughs> The way you start every day. Yeah, I know. The weirdest anything. thing I ever found in a car was one guy. <laughs> the ear. He's getting his ears cut off. Yeah. He was, yeah, one guy's dancing yeah. around with a razor blade. Yeah. You just take the diamond earring out of the ear and put the ear back. Well, it did get raided. Yeah. <laughs> what, the detailing? What, the detailing place? Yeah. Was he yeah. selling drugs out of there, too? Uh, well, there was a group of places in the area that got raided. One place had a lot of marijuana in it. One place they found a, a dead lawyer in the back of a Cadillac. <laughs> and there were various things that happened. Oh, my God. And they raided this place and found a bunch of ecstasy. And a bunch of feds raided it. 
And I was standing there and I was like, uh, and I threw a dime bag out of my pocket and the guy laughed at me and I was like, I'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> nobody just ever asked me. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody cared. Yeah. You were what, 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah. That makes sense. 15 bucks an hour at that time in 1997. I stopped going to school. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Make more money than your dad. Yeah, why would I? I stopped going to school. I found a gig. (laughs) I was like going to first period and I was like, why would I do this? Yeah. Like I could literally make more money today. And they didn't really have a seat. Like I detail a car (coughs) and then I would eat a sub and then I detail a car and then have a pizza and then I'd go home. I'm also, like ju- I'm also just imagining a school with cars crashed into it. <laughs> Everything oh, yeah. Right. I just remember, I, was, I was just imagine it was just a car smashed Dude, into there it. There was a lot of it. We had auto shop Dude. and auto body at our school. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that one comic that has like, that great joke? It's pretty old, but he's like, my family's so... F- Full of drunks that our family tree is a car wrapped around, around it. it. Yeah. <laughs> who was yeah. that? I don't remember who did it, but it's spot on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so many people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the day I got my license, I got my car totaled. Well, oh my not God. mine, my dad's. My Just... girlfriend totaled my one car at a Cougar, Mercury Cougar. Thing was like fucking. What it was, year? It was like iron. Uh, Probably eighty five. Oh, if it was it was like iron. It was the Cougar had 80. like the Thundercats logo. Yeah, on it. yeah, it was so sick. It looked like a Thunderbird, but it yeah. was more for like older women. Yeah, <laughs> it looked dude. Awesome, it was a V eight. I couldn't see over the hood. The thing was fucking giant. Oh yeah, you didn't know where you were going. I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Think, I didn't reckon. I went to the Poconos with my family, and this my girlfriend at the time took it out, and she was exiting Wawa, and the one guy just let her out. Like he stopped ahead, and there's a there's a cross section. Green light, and he waves her on. He's like, "Come on out!" And then she makes a wide turn, and this other guy was flying, oh. just wrecked it, totaled the whole fucking thing. Was my the first Cougar? car? Huh? Yeah. Oh, it's a bummer. What did, what did it get hit with? A, a bigger truck. Oh, that's but why. it had to be flying to to because those cars now truly were iron, dude. They wouldn't. They wreck everything. If you hit anything, one of those old cars, Explode. done. Like yeah. the new plastic cars, you'll yeah. just oh, get yeah, out yeah. of it. Like, did something happen? Yeah, and there'll be two <laughs> dead bodies in the other one. <laughs> You don't even need airbags in those cars. No. <laughs> it's a tank. And then I got a oh, Ford Taurus for like six years. Oh, there's... Dude, Ford I, Taurus, they go forever. Oh, baby. yeah. Yeah. It was a it Ford. It was the wagon. I had the Ford Taurus wagon. You had a wagon up. in yeah. high school? Oh, yeah. That's sick. Well, yeah. It was like, you know, it was like it was like a 1985 Ford Taurus. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, with the uh, the seats in the back that faced yes, out. Yes, yes. Which yeah. was... so sick. A dream as yeah. a kid. That way all your rapist... Lacrosse friends can like look for cops in all directions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody loved them except for the families that like got rear ended and lost their kids. <laughs> Dude, that's yeah. We used to sit in the you back remember? of a fucking Chrysler LeBaron. We would just sit in the back. The way, just, way back. Yeah, the way, way back. Yep. And you'd look out, and then everybody's like, this is great. I can see the uncommon. <laughs> <car." laughs> Yeah, it's just a little kitty aquarium We're about to get wrecked. Yeah. Dude, that but, that car fucking ruled. When I had it in high school, I swear to God, the AC was like, it, it was had to be toxic fumes. Yeah. Well, and then yeah. it, it also had it's the just vent. It smelled like like weird chemicals. Oh, it out. was. Yeah. Do, you remember, do you remember the vent one from when the AC stopped working? No. It had two, it had a switch that instead of in hot and cold, it just said vent on it so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you would vent yeah. it to cold yeah. just reroute just, the muffler to yeah. yeah what it was <laughs> yeah. was it was the cool air that would come off the 90 degree engine yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's how you save money if your dad was poor he, he would only use, use vent yeah he wouldn't use the air yeah and you like, keep the windows up with the cigarette and go yeah. vent so you're getting both the engine and fucking winston soft pack my mom <laughs> my mom had a cadillac fleetwood and we would drive it from uh uh, Detroit to Atlantic City because everything that we had was Jesus great. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And she what was an a, upgrade. I know, right? She was <laughs> Detroit to AC. <laughs> my, what, a, what a great title for the saddest book of all time. <laughs> <laughs> like we're going on a road trip. My mom was an RN too. And so we're going to Atlantic City because my uncle uh, ran the hotel part of Bally's. Oh, sick. so we would go there and that's where I would spend my childhood, you know. <laughs> 
on the Atlantic City <laughs> Let's get out walk. of Detroit for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get this kid somewhere safe. <laughs> hey, guys, let's go see Detroit with an ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember the whole way there, you're just, my mom's smoking Carlton, which is the worst cigarette oh. ever. But with the windows up, because mm. it's like, oh, I don't want you to catch a draft. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you're a registered nurse. <laughs> I'm in the back playing, uh, at the time, a Game Boy VR, which apparently causes eye cancer, just sitting in a cloud of Carlton smoke. <laughs> Didn't your dad have Agent Orange, too? Yeah. Jesus. Oh, no, there was a lot of things that killed him. I think it was a mix of my mom's yelling. And smoking. And yeah. Agent Orange. <laughs> well, he smoked, too. <laughs> God damn. He dude. quit when he got uh, brain cancer. He quit smoking and he would like lecture me when he caught me. He's like, you know, I quit. It's like, you have you get cancer and then you quit. Stop, yeah, yeah. Stop with the lecture. <laughs> and that's from the orange, right? That's not probably not from the cigarettes. No, his lungs are crystal clear. Yeah. And he, he bragged on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice when one of them makes it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like He's my dad does it. My dad's healthy, not cornwood. But uh, I've yeah, seen he smoked pictures every of your day. He looks great. 50 years, 60 yeah. years, every day. Like a whole pack, two packs. Crystal clear lungs, apparently. Yeah. Which is fucking... Well, so many people... It's a genetic thing, really. It's gotta be. Yeah. So many people from that generation. It's like they worked in coal mines. They smoked every day since they were six. Yeah. And then they lived to be like 114. Yeah. And then you have our generation where it's like, I have a friend who's 41 and has had four heart attacks. Jesus Christ. Just grew up on microwave food. Oh, my God. I mean, he looks like Chris Farley. <laughs> I'm sure there's something else there. Yeah, and yeah, cocaine. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the cheeseburgers yeah, that's right. going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the frozen White Castle. Yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's not good to be five seven and four hundred pounds, but it's still. <laughs> that is so funny. I've been doing that, like, yeah, just drinking every day, and then being like, I think bread. I think I got to cut out bread. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that slowing me down. <laughs> I I was so happy when my doctor told me after years of alcoholism, he's like, your your liver enzymes are really starting to look good. And I'm like, that's good. I haven't had a drink in 15 years. Yeah, but it I'm took glad, that long? Glad they're turning around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I The last time I got a test was like two years ago for the enzymes, like the AZT and mm-hmm. the ART or whatever, something like that. Yeah. I don't. I don't listen either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they give you a little form where you can you can judge the scale. It's like normal is like thirteen, fifteen, or fifteen, eighteen. The other one has another set of numbers, and my one was like double the average, and yeah. the third was triple. So I called the doctor immediately. I was like, "This is crazy," and he was like, "No, it's not." He's like, "You're fine. Drink more water. Drink less alcohol." And I was like, "But the numbers." He's like, "Yeah, that's that doesn't really matter." We just try and keep you in that range. He's like, look, you don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> You're way gone, dude. We can't. Yeah, yeah. I got too many patients. Yeah. <laughs> I need like, one of them to die. Yeah, he goes, look, yeah. I don't have all day to save your life. No, dude, he did. This is why I said this on the pod at one point, probably right after the, the, the I meme, found the yeah. doctor. It's just like this tall, handsome Greek guy, and he, he just wouldn't put up my shit. I gave him all my OCD, all my neurotic questions, and he like he literally just went, you got one more question. And I was like, okay, what if, and he was like, look, I'm going to answer that before you, you, before you ask you, sometimes you just need to chill the fuck out. True. And then he walked out and I was like, that's the greatest doctor I've ever, true ever met. I do feel like just believing you're not going to die. Yeah. I've been, I've been convincing myself I got this heart thing and I just keep pushing on my high ab. Yeah. Yeah. Which can't help. Which now it's just a bruise. Yeah. So now every time I breathe, you know. I got, I got problems. Dude, you're, you're not alone. I've told you, like, I'm already aware that if I'm going to do it, it's probably by my own hand. So I'm not really worried about what diseases I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel as long like, as this one works. Yeah, yeah. 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 As long as it's not cerebral palsy. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah so. I feel the same way. It's like, yeah. as long as I'm not buying a gun, nothing can hurt me. Yes. <laughs> Dude, in the last couple of years, I've had to give my gun to friends. <laughs> oh, no, Dave. Don't say that. Well, I'm amazing. sorry. I don't want you to say that because that's fucking real. Dude. Yeah, there's there's no delicate way to say, can you hold on to this yeah. for a while? Yeah, it's like it's, that scene in a Godfather when he knocks on the window, he throws rocks, he's like, here, hold this for me for a yeah, while. Yeah. Just fucking pillowcase of guns. Yeah, yeah. Except, yeah, except they know it's not because I'm going to hurt someone else. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's weird me. is when you give your a gun to your friend and they, they just know why. They're like, yeah. all, right, all right, I'm glad yeah. you gave it to me. What's bad is How when about they give we it, don't give it back this time, Dave? It's the third yeah. time this month. 
It's weird when they do because you're like, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use it for self protection. Yeah, From who? <laughs> From me. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like an abusive husband <laughs> ringing the doorbell. I'm like, I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> just give me another chance. Just give me my give fucking 38 pack. Constantly. Get, I need you to come over and help me fill in the tub. <laughs> you know what? You got my gun. You got to help me out. Can with you this. hold on to my toaster for a while? I'm <laughs> you know what? This is a series of all suicidal things. <laughs> Yeah. You're just coming over with rope. Yeah, well, you got a ladder on the next day. You're like, here, take both of these. To be honest with you. <laughs> hammer? You were gonna kill yourself with a fucking hammer? Well, yeah, if I hit myself hard enough. <laughs> you, I saw it online. You go in a boat, you hit yourself with a hammer, fall yeah, in the yeah. water. I got a really high, uh, high up apartment. You want to switch places for a while? <laughs> yeah, you want the ocean view for thirty days? Let me cool off. <laughs> I gotta show you what car you should buy. Can I? I, I hate to do this on a show. No, hundred percent. Is it a caddy? It. It's well, also if you want I'm, a Cadillac hookup, you gotta go to Covert. Where's that? I can hook you up with this the same guy. guy. Yeah, Dude, so it's like fifteen minutes then. away. I found. I was seriously <laughs> looking for caddies, and I found the single greatest caddy. And I, <laughs> yeah, turn the <laughs> yeah. I hope to hell it's for sale in Texas right now, because it's the greatest thing I think I've ever found. And I bet you it's not. Now that I'm looking at my phone and stalling the show. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Fuck. This is a car you found in Texas, dude. I found it in Texas, and I've I, it's the just the greatest thing I I've ever seen. I can show you the seen. Tacoma we're getting. Let's, let's take a look at it. It's pretty nice, 2018. It's got 115 thousand on it, but for Tacomas, that's nothing apparently. Let me see. Yeah, that thing rules. It's got a, a double cab. That's a great car, dude. That's I think a, uh, look at I, that. Baby. I think Gerbin's got a Tacoma. It's fantastic. Look at her. Yeah, it's nice. She's a beast. That's the good thing about get my girl's titty sitting like six feet up. That's you know what I mean. Keep her safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cars, huh? Is it Japanese? Toyota. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the good thing is like miserable lives, but they will make something that yeah. runs forever. Yeah. Yes. You know, no offense if you're Jap. I'm referring to the people in that country, not American Japanese. Yeah, American Japs. So you, you could stick around for a while. Yeah, like, but in Just that country, start working Northwest. for some of these car companies. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah! Help us out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you could advice. come down to Detroit, <laughs> we brought it, we brought in Daimler with the Mercedes, yeah. and it didn't do much. I'm sure this episode will reach our two Japanese fans. <laughs> yes, they're they're gonna be pissed. <laughs> two adopted Japanese fans. They're, they're just they're... heading to Suicide Forest as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you hold on to this forest for yeah. me for a week? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hang out yeah. on the plains. <laughs> Can you watch my redwood? I can't. I can't climb it. This yeah, no. I just, can't do you I just hand lost my job. You gotta hand over your Tacoma so you can't drive there. Uh, yeah, true. I found, and there's no way you're gonna believe me now because I can't find it. So it's the car, and it was in Texas, and I'm like, all right, I gotta find this. And it was, uh, it's the car that Ray Liotta drives at the end of Good. Oh Pops. hell yeah! Oh damn! And uh, that's so, a caddy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I was looking up these caddies, and I found it two weeks ago. It's a black ago. square one. I'm old, not, old one. No, the it was the, it's the brown one. Oh, the it's brown a 1979 one. Um, Eldorado. Ah. And I found it, and it was 28.5, and I'm like, there's no way. And I called up, and it was. They had pictures of Ray Liotta driving it. They put uh, in memory of Ray Liotta on the back. They had all the pictures, all the proof Wait, of it. Wait, it was the actual car? It was the actual Did it car. run? Brown on brown, Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, if I had the extra money right now, I would go and buy this car. Yeah. And dude, it was it had yeah, it was the scene where he's getting chased by copters and he's looking up. Yeah, and I was like, gonna say it's up there with coke. OJ's Bronco. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's, it's it's almost as good. <laughs> dude, I would have a carnival collection of shit like that if I like Shane's money. Oh, dude. every day there'd be delivering something off the uh, fucking truck. But that's yeah. Ray Liotta's car. Yeah, I, I would have, like, put him on the lawns. Like, just I would just pick people yeah. up with it yeah. with Ray Liotta's picture on that and be like, oh. just, yeah, just behaving like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah just like you get it. You know what it is. Yeah. Joe, you know a movie I'm impersonating. Yeah, just throwing a helicopter impersonation. Oh, dude, I guess yeah, it sold. Damn it, but yeah, it sold very quickly because you know it's Ray Liotta's car from yeah. Goodfellas and yeah. it wasn't that expensive. Where'd you find this? Like Facebook Marketplace. Uh, Where do you find uh, a car? Yeah, like it was that? a guy lying to me. <laughs> um, no, it was uh, it was a car collector here because Glenn Beck d it does that too. A lot of stuff where he has like the All in the Family set and all these other stuff uh, where he'll just randomly buy these cars. Where yeah. it's like that's Hitler's first racer. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, Jesus Christ. But yeah, it's, it, it's so I just found it and I'm like, God, I would buy this in a heartbeat, and I should have. Had I known my car was going to be totaled, 
you know. When you finance cars that aren't from a dealer, like if it's from a guy, mm -hmm. do you is it all up front, 26? It's just you got to pay him everything, right? I don't know. I'm sure you do. Yeah. I'm sure they prefer it. Yeah. There's no, like, I'll, take I'll give you 10 out. today. You take a loan out from a bank. Yeah. <laughs> I would assume. Call me tomorrow for the rest. Yeah, I, I'm, sh I'm sure. Just in case they are lying yeah. at the last minute, you're like, wait, that's not here. That's in a museum, and now you're stuck with a car that's just Ray Liotta on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't Hitler's dog collar. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. This is <laughs> <laughs> it says TD Bank on it. Yeah. What? I wanted Hitler. <laughs> Who am I going to show this to now? No one's going to be impressed. Speaking of Hitler, I'm congrats. having a party this Sunday. Congrats on you pivoting out of your last job. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to do as many polarizing things as possible. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't want to say it, but yeah, that guy sucks. Uh, oh, no, no kidding? <laughs> 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 Wait, who are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Hitler, not a big fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, it's good. It's good to be uh, uh, known as a really great <laughs> comic and then, you know, never getting to do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. I just want to point that out. In my <laughs> well, it'll take some Hitler time. Hitler his own mug club. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler's oven club? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. That would be if Hitler was around today. He'd have a line of ovens. Oh yeah, definitely. And mitts. maybe the best. It's like, dude, they're. I mean, I don't like the guy, but he makes good. Yeah, yeah they're expensive, like, but saying. they're never gonna break. <laughs> have you tried his mitts? You will never burn your hands, <laughs> dude. Hitler trivets for your pants. He's just doing all the little small kitchen cute shit. Yeah, he got oh. great. He's great suits. <laughs> I mean, Hugo Boss. <laughs> Yeah, that was a rough year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, Well, you're out of the muck now, dude. Yeah, you know? I, I have my own show, which is good. It's yeah. got sketches, and I'm, I'm yeah. it's nice. It's building. It's growing. It's and awesome. I'm, I'm getting out of it, and it's yeah. sort of... Dude, it's just... It's fucking weird. Like, you and I had a show, and then Shane, and we were growing out of that. Yeah. I, dude, and I know people say all this shit about Anthony, but he gave me a very good break. Yeah. Yeah. And I love Anthony, and I know a lot of people have their issues, mainly because Yeah, he was his, great to us. Yeah. He was great yeah. to me. So, yeah, but like you know, you needed a break from the heavy political. Well, I was conservative never conservative dog shit because you're not that guy. Dude, I was never yeah. political. I yeah, just, I was. On, I went on the Artie and Anthony show because it was Artie and Anthony. Yeah, yeah, same. And that's what I don't get. And then people are like, "What? Why are you on that show?" Yeah, it's like, you mean the legends from yeah. radio? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you mean the thing? Oh, yeah, you guys. Dude, I like that. still listen to their stuff. It's on, like YouTube. I'll just listen to old Opie and Anthony episodes. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. And, and then if I, I mean, when Shane, I started it, and then Shane, when Shane moved to New York, it was Shane and I, and then Shane was just getting too busy, and then Dave would be a guest on of ours, like, here and there, and he's he was like, dude, I love doing your show, i just like to do your show after ours, if that's cool, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. And he did it so consistently that he's like, I'd like to do a co-host, you don't have to give me a dollar, I just want to... Because, like, I, I feel like you also saw, like, I, I want to just have fun and not have everything be so... Conservatively, politically, yeah. fucking. Well, shoveled dude, people down my also throat. forget how quickly things went insane. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was like 2015; everything was fine. Yeah, <laughs> and then by 2017, <laughs> it was like crazy. Yeah, Car I lost friends over. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, uh, well, it was so odd because Shane hosted for me uh, in Philadelphia. No, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. That's where I first met Shane. Yeah, 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 and I was like, "This guy's great. He's doing Louis C.K., but yeah, he's yeah. great." Yeah, but you yeah. Could was see it like twenty fifteen? In there, maybe fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he was phenomenal. But you could see this potential, this like ball yeah, of potential. Yeah. And then I, but you just, I don't know. There's something about him where you just knew he was going to be a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he came out there, like immediately when you two came on, I was like, I didn't know what a fair one was, and you guys came on Anthony's show. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shane. Yeah. Like, and uh, we immediately clicked because yeah. I, I it was great to just see him again yeah yeah and then we clicked immediately yeah and it was just so great to see him skyrocket and then watching that utter bullshit happen to him yeah i think that's w such a great thing to watch him pivot into i guess this level of superstardom that i've really never seen somebody be able to bounce back oh, into yeah, it's crazy i've yeah. never i i can't believe the pivot he was able to take yeah I dropped a tear when he came out on SNL. It's, Chris and I yeah, saw him oh, live. Dude, yeah, I saw yeah, you guys yeah. in the studio. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It's the dude. only time I've watched SNL since he was actually kicked off of it. Same. Oh, a hundred percent. Same. Yeah. It is also. It was a, we were joking that it's like, it literally is like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. 
when he goes inside of the agents at the end and like blows them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember telling him though too on like the, one of the first times he was on Anthony's show. I go, you have that John Candy appeal, and he's like, you said I'm fucking John Candy. Yeah, and I, you got like pissed, and I go like jokingly, of course. Yeah, and I was like, no, dude. I go, that's the good thing about you. Yeah, I'm like, you have that vulnerability and that like SCTV thing, that like likability that yep. that is missing. Now. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, that's something that like SNL is missing that they're gonna see. He's got the you. charm yeah. of an everyman, yeah, and then the the brilliant wit. Of no man, and then you know Lord I mean? Michael saw it. Yeah, and I was like, "See, you fucking, see, I told you somebody would see that." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he it got it. Inevitable. Yeah. Some fan that show made. I know this because a fan made a a meme of Ch- Shane as John Candy and me as uh, fuck. Who was it? Robin Williams. I can see that as a pi- the pirate. I don't know. I'll look it up. It's on my wall yeah. still. Because it made. It, it, that's how I saw him too. Yeah, and it always made sense that he was like gonna be this yeah this thing because he was likable and he was yeah. real yeah and it was I I just remember that bird call guy and just me and me and Anthony immediately just going a fucking off on that show wait the, what show and uh, oh 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 Seth on, on, uh, yeah the bird call is that his name yeah Seth uh, don't say it yeah <laughs> it's oh Seth. me and Anthony were just like we should pull all episodes uh, but we should- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah dude I mean at this point who gives yeah, a shit yeah. I think no it doesn't matter but I mean uh, Anthony where credits do was like let's just get rid of lots of stuff yeah and let's make sure uh, yeah because <laughs> well, why but if, if that worked anything could work and also where I think where comedy has come since that there's a lot of people just like yeah even the the, the hard left is kind of like it's funny <laughs> you know well, what I mean? Like, cares as yeah, long as it's it not the momentum, n-word yeah. or something so ridiculously violent or malicious in your intent to joke, it's like, dude. Now it's different these days. I think a little bit. Well, like last night, you know, I was watching you on stage. You're fantastic. You know, you go oh, up on thanks, stage, man. but yeah. it's not like you're doing anything that's deliberately supposed to be shocking. And I'm going up yeah. after you doing something that's not. It's not supposed to be shocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Lamar, right? Lamar yeah, 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 yeah. He's not doing it. Like, it's just comedy. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we're not going up there trying to offend anybody. I'm just. There's talking no fucking about, message here. I'm not recruiting. No, yeah. it's like, but I'm just talking about my life. Yeah. And the crowd's loving it, and that's all I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's what bothered me, I guess, a lot about the sour grapes of what happened was yeah. it's like, dude, you make bird calls. That's the fucking problem. It's yeah. no one else's fault that you chose to suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's sucking so yeah. bad. You take it out on yeah. everybody. Right. Like don't blame him that you're not going farther in this. Yeah. But it was that thing. I was like also the, that, that Trump era, like when he started to come up, everyone, it was like, it was a war of the worlds thing. Everyone turned every every sentence into like, "Are you on which side are you on?" Yeah, it, like it became a gigantic yeah it was thing, like, and it was so fast. Like I said, I I like I had like my some of my best friends in comedy that just stopped talking to me because I like liked Shane. I like oh. liked the sketch. <laughs> I liked the sketch that he made. Oh, it was like God. crazy. That's hilarious. Yeah. But it was just that what time everyone was like what a uh, with us or against us kind of thing. When I remember a lot mm. of Philly And now people, none of those people are doing and, comedy and, like, and they're I comedy. I'm not with it. I just liked what they made. I liked the thing. What? Yeah. 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 When I remember a lot of Philly people being douches about it. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Well, and then the second I got on Crowder, like I left Anthony's show specifically because I thought he was moving to South Carolina. And then a lot of people decided to stir up this other stuff about how, you know, it, whatever. I sent an email, blah blah blah. I'm like, it's none. Of, it, I just I left because I have a family and I was trying to find something else. I probably should have known more about what Crowder was before I jumped <laughs> on the bandwagon. Probably should have uh, did a Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, I was doing a guest show, and at the time it was more pajamas than yeah, guns. But, yeah, yeah. And I, look, I don't have a problem with guns or anything, but I. I just I'm not a far right extremist person at all. Yeah. Right. But I am somebody who believes in comedy. Yeah. And saying whatever you want yeah, yeah. that you think is funny. Yeah. And that was my job on the show. And you have that feeling where you're like, it's a huge platform and I can just be myself. It doesn't matter what the other guy's saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I'm, well, did, I so mean that's it, fine. And people yeah. turned on me though. Like I lost Re- real fr- dude, I, I paid a guy's rent so he didn't lose his like I paid a not rent, but I paid a guy's mortgage so he didn't lose his house during COVID. Yeah. Immediately taking pictures pictures of me and video off of that show to try to take food off my kids table saying what a horrible person I was for being on that show. 
I had people that I had gotten work for over the years who wouldn't have yeah. had a career without me turn on me, you know, because I was on that show. Like, dude, the number of people that just would stab me in the back because I was on that show, it was, it, dude, it was fucking astonishing. Dude, it's, it's like also one of those things. I remember saying this at the time, and it's like going to be so weird when you're like, 20 years from now when you don't talk to like your best friend anymore. Yeah. And they're going to be like, what happened? You're like Carter administration. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, what? Yeah. Yeah, Guy liked Carter. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, what? Whereas like, I think old school days, it's like my, like my dad doesn't have friends. It's probably like, you just get to a point where you're like, "Ah, I don't feel like getting in the car. You know what I mean? Like I'm tired. That's a good reason not to be friends with someone anymore. Well, and with my mad at them with my dad. And I always said my genuine, honest experience was like I grew up my dad taught me a lot about history conspiracy not because he was nuts because what he experienced with the war himself yeah and he was a huge history buff like we would go to Gettysburg we would go to all these places when we were young because that's that's what he wanted to teach me yeah so I grew up learning about all that stuff and a lot of the papers that I didn't do well on in school was because I was putting down fact and not necessarily what they were teaching me right yeah and but that's what I love to learn as a kid Mm. and you know, as I as I get older, you, you know, and I look at, I don't know, just the way that I th- that I went into these things and the way that I had an opinion, it was because I watched the government kill my father. Yeah. And I watched them take no accountability for it. I watched them drain his bank account, give him absolutely nothing. Jesus fucking My dad Christ. came from nothing in Detroit, made, uh, fucking <sighs> orphaned, make all the money himself, lose every dollar he made. and then he got I, drafted. Yep. And lose all the money that he made. And then that led to my mom's suicide. Oh my God. So then when you lead, when it goes to me to go onto that show, I'm saying that I have distrusted the government for these reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. then people have the audacity to be like, oh, so you're right wing crazy. No, I'm very anti all of it because I don't believe a word any of and them said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something happened to me. <laughs> yeah. It's like what? something happened to me that affects my. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Just throw Dude. that little ding- dinger on top of all your wrecked cars. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> throw it in the pile, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom suicide. Ding, and they're not ding. salting these goddamn roads. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, I can't even drop my kid off yeah. without them <clears throat> salt. <laughs> goddamn. No wonder you're loaning your gun out every other right. month. And it's like, then I have to go on another show where I have to pay all these lawyers to get off. I don't want to get into it. It just, you know, could I get a win? Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Are you trying to remove shit? What do you mean? From his show? Uh, no, 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 okay. no, no. I, I just had to get out of there, but it did take a lot of, uh, you know, took a lot of money that I had made to just have to hire lawyers and everything yeah, yeah. to figure out how to get out. Oh, get out of your contract. <laughs> how long was your contract? Uh, the contract was, it wasn't so much the length of it. It was what I needed to do to leave and then to sign on to a new show. And, you know, it's like, I don't have his fucking YouTube money and his fucking... Right, you know, right, right. And it... it, it and that's what sucks is it's like, I, I'll be my, my role on the show. That's fine. Yeah. But then all of a sudden you're touring with a guy, you're doing arenas, and then I had my agent who wanted his money. So now I have my agent gaslighting me behind my back. Just a lot to get into because he wanted to be his agent. So uh, it's like, no, you should stay. Do that. He's just oh, some no. boy Cuban guy. Yeah. Like, no, this is totally normal. It's totally normal for these. This Because agents can stay in the pocket, literally. Yeah. Well, then I and talked, then out of the, out of the limelight. Then I they talked to like Brad Garrett and all these other people that are like, "This isn't normal. What are you doing?" Yeah, you know. And so eventually, I had to realize like, "Oh, I'm I'm being completely gaslit and treated like shit." And yeah, like, yeah, just for the money out. grab. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Oh. So it, it ended up being another like, and Anthony, like I said, I know a lot of people have an issue with him, mainly his Twitter. Yeah, but I have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, but dude, I mean, the if he guy just was, didn't do a few things. Yes. Yeah. It's he, fun to check in on every once in a while. It's <laughs> yeah. fun. From, yeah, He'll dude. Say you're it. having like a quiet day, yeah. you know? Like From 30,000 feet, it fucking rules. Afternoon <laughs> drink, you're like, you see what I had to do. Furious. Sure enough, <laughs> drop the grenade in another well. <laughs> yeah, one of those things you like, and then you're like, I should pray now. <laughs> <laughs> Unheart real quick. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, what I loved about Anthony was he's genuine. Yeah. Whether yeah, you yeah. like it or not. And what's crazy about him is behind closed doors, 
He's not that guy. No, he's very sweet. I yeah. would go to his like I stayed at his house through COVID, yeah. doing all yeah. that, doing his show. <clears throat> like, there's nothing about. He's got all walks of life coming over, all colored friends, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you go to his Twitter, and it's like, who, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> Seems like an ex log though. I'm just trying to ruin his fucking <laughs> life. <laughs> so you'd be like, I haven't been on Twitter in five years. That would years. be so yeah, sick. Like, yeah. If well, after, let me tell you after, what happened the last five yeah. years on Twitter for you. Yeah. After ten. Years of that, just be like, sorry, my yeah. account got hacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he realizes it's still like, yeah. it's just him making muffins. Yeah, it's still yeah. Vinnie Brand's daughter. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, oh. that whole situation. Yeah, his whole thing's actually just an entirely different handle. It's <laughs> Anthony Cumia too, and it's just yeah. yeah. He just had a cooking show. And he was yeah. wondering why it wasn't taking off. He's like, I don't understand. I have all these great recipes. <laughs> I've had this meatball and <laughs> recipes in Sicily. Uh, uh, well, thanks for coming, Dave. Yeah, you got dude, uh, you got some great. stuff to plug or anything? Yeah, uh, if you want, go to DaveLando.com. Subscribe to Normal World. I got a bunch of shows coming. Uh, yeah, uh, we got to do your show. We yeah. got to travel up there. Please come. He's by Please. Addison. We, we yeah, had yeah, it was time. In we get time. You guys were great. Yo, I got to take you to uh, where Kennedy got shot. A coverts. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a Dude. dealership. <laughs> it's a GMC down on fucking Dude. 35. Yeah. I want you to see. Oh no, you went already, didn't you? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. I was there with Chain and uh Naeem. People act like it's an impossible shot. It looks very makeable. Yeah. It actually does. When you I mean, I got up there. The way his head moves around is what makes it look so Well, hard. Did you see Wacky, the photo yeah. of it actually coming the second shot coming from yeah. the agent in the yep. in the car? I believe that now. <laughs> I should yeah. let you There's finish. The second headshot. You just see the guy turn around as if he's it's looking so for funny. The, he's looking for the shooter and just goes, <laughs> pops yeah. him right in the fucking front yep. of the face. I brought my son uh, to. Uh, <laughs> it's just a guy. On the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not blurry picture at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I brought my son to this place called Greenfield Village in Detroit where they have all these old cars and, like, the whole, like, where everything started with Ford and everything. Yeah. And uh, they had the the limo. And, like, I walked up, and I'm like, yeah, this is where and he's five. And I'm like, oh, boy, I sh I've i started this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, like, trying to explain. <laughs> like, it's, uh, well, uh, some people didn't like them. <laughs> 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 yeah he's like why would they do that what they shot the president i'm like well somebody did he goes yeah. who i'm like they're not sure that's when you just pull out an ice cream sandwich that's like Dude. dripping wet you're like ice cream honestly yeah. they had the oscar meyer hot dog mobile oh, of course oh yeah. not far away from it which smart i was like oh yeah. look at that it's a big hot dog yeah. let's go over there <laughs> it's that's a, a smart cleanser. guy i'm like that's <laughs> sure you're yeah. starving after yeah. all this <laughs> nobody was killed in that i think maybe buy it over yeah. years <laughs> Cholesterol. <coughs> you want to stick around for the Patreon? Sure. Yeah, I yeah. know your show starts at six, right? Yeah. All right. Well, you yeah, can bolt you can whenever. It anyway. Yeah. He watches matching your shoes. He's matching your shirt. You are fucking Detroit. Right. Yeah, I'm, I, I know what you meant. Do you ever do any open mics for rap? Oh yeah, I've done a lot of uh, inner city open Have you? mics. Oh yeah, dude. For hip hop? Uh, well, I haven't done. Have I opened for rap groups? No, I'm, I'm asking if you ever tried like rapping. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just imagine it's part of the growth period and like uh, just being a wig and well, in my friends, my friends that have record labels, so I would freestyle on some stuff. So there are albums oh out there. Oh my, that that's them. worse than Crowder, dude. You got to oh, delete those vibes. Yeah, yeah, no, actually, it wasn't horrible when I was nineteen, but I was very really? drunk. Yeah, that's they very weren't funny. the worst. They weren't good. I mean, I'm not. It wasn't. In, I yeah, wasn't, yeah, it wasn't once called D thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of these record labels actually take off or like get purchased, or is it just a bunch of kids trying to? One uh, did okay for yeah. a minute. Yeah. But yeah, no, 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 no. I, what's <laughs> odd is well, remember when we interviewed Isham? Yeah. Like that. He was dude, great. Yeah, man. And he and he is in a, he's with ICP now, touring around. And no he shit. was at the time. Yeah. Like he's touring with Violin J, who was just at Mothership like a couple weeks ago yeah. when I was there. But yeah, him and uh, Violin J and somebody else are doing a tour now. But. He was his record or his recording studio was literally two blocks down from my house. That rules. And you and I were interviewing him during yeah. the pandemic. Yeah. And I had no idea. He was like, he's like, yeah, I'm actually a chef now, but his restaurant shut down because it was like two feet from where George Floyd happened. Oh no! Do you remember that? Yeah. He was talking about oh, that. Man. So all the rallies so, would just 
So he got back. His business. He's like, well, I better go back to Detroit where it's safe and get back into. Oh rap. my god! <laughs> yeah. Does he still get? He still raps? Yeah, yeah. He does raps. He's back into rapping now. That fucking rules. And touring, yeah. So he just started cooking and then was like, I'm gonna go rap. He went like- back to rap. <laughs> Bisham, <laughs> not us, which is Satan backwards. It's what? Satan backwards. Oh, not right. Us. That makes sense. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Ishan. Dude, he was cool though. He and was we great. Had, we had DMC on twice. We had he's DMC coming. DMC on twice. He's coming during back the on. fucking pandemic. Yeah, and he's coming. Kind of, he's going to perform on my show too. Which no is shit. Be cool. Yeah, we've had a few Detroit rappers come on and perform, which is pretty cool. Yeah, How do you have sick. those connections? Just stand up. A uh, few Detroit guys uh, that crashed into each other once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's the, that's yeah. Landau out. <laughs> uh, dude, on a fair one, every single episode, Landau was a sniper, and he had a, he, he he. You saw the clock; they had a clock ticking for how much time you had left. Yeah, because it was live, right? It, it was, was live. like exactly an yeah. hour. Yeah, and he would just let me ramble my dog shit, and then he would have a sniper joke like that, and then you just go <laughs> <laughs> the closing credits. <laughs> <laughs> That was ours. Thank you, dude. Thank you.